Hello and welcome to Second Drafts, everything you need to write, edit, and publish your way. Over the next few videos, we'll be going over how to create a Kindle file step by step. Today's step is something you should be doing even for your print file, and that is removing errors commonly missed in your Word file. Let's move over to the computer, and I'll show you what you need to do to polish your manuscript. This, of course, assumes that you have a manuscript and one that's already been edited. If not, get cracking and come back later. So first off, get your manuscript open in whatever Word program you use. In my case, I'm using Microsoft Office. So what we're going to be removing are things that we would easily miss with the naked eye like two spaces between words, a space then a period, two commas in a row, that sort of thing. These might not seem that bad in a Word document, but when it goes into an ebook, it can cause some odd looking text, so we want to get rid of them. Good news is it's really easy. So first we'll remove any unnecessary paragraph returns. We only want one paragraph instead of several in a row. So first click Control F, to open the Find window, then click the Replace tab. To find multiple paragraph returns, you put in the caret symbol. That's that symbol right there. Followed by the letter P for paragraph. Then repeat it in the Find What box. Next, in the Replace With box, Enter the caret symbol and the letter P again, but only once. If you want to make sure it doesn't take away something important, click Find first. Then it will highlight it so you can check it. Then click Replace if you want it replaced. Otherwise, click Replace All, and Word will handle the rest. It's as easy as that. The caret symbol and letter P might only work in Microsoft Word, as all Word programs are different. But this is something we can fix later when working in HTML, so no worries if this doesn't work for the program you're using. Now I'll put a list of things you'll want to go through and remove on the screen using the same method. Now the final thing we want to fix is incorrectly formatted ellipses. So this can be two or more periods in a row, rather than the traditional three. You'll want to go through this one manually in order to make sure you didn't just mean to put in a single period. Otherwise, you might accidentally end a sentence with a strange cliffhanger. In order to get a correctly formatted ellipses, just do a quick Google search and then copy and paste it over into the replace field. Once you've replaced all the multiple periods with either one period or an ellipsis, you're all done this step. All right, now your manuscript is clean and we can move on to the next step, creating the HTML file and cleaning the junk code from it. But that'll be for another video. So in the meantime, leave a comment below if you have any questions about today's video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything, and remember that Second Drafts has everything you need to write, edit, and publish your way. Do you want to support production of this YouTube series? Visit www.patreon.com slash and become a patron today.